Now, teacher unions in the eastern region wants government to embark on a proper consultation or drop the pre-tertiary education bill pending before parliament. They contend portions of the bill in its current form, seeking to decentralize education, has a tendency to affect quality of education and welfare of teachers. Maxwell Kudeko has more. At a press conference jointly held in Kufodua by Tewu, Ghana National Association of Teachers, National Association of Graduate Teachers, and Coalition of Consent Teachers, members were dropped in red bands as they put their concerns across. They intend to keep the red bands in their classrooms and the government put on hold the pre-tertiary education bill. Addressing the press, Eastern Regional Chairman of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, John Serbe, said the bill in its current state will take powers and mandate from the Ghana Education Service and invested in the Regional Coordinating Council, Metropolitan, Municipal and District Assembly, a situation which he said could jeopardize education in Ghana. We are the bill. Senior high schools will be run and managed by the Regional Education Directorates, that is the Regional Coordinating Councils. Basic schools will be run and managed by the Metropolitan, Municipal and District Assemblies. Technical and vocational schools will be run and managed by their own director general, independent of the Ghana Education Service. By this arrangement, the Ghana Education Service will be shown off its powers and mandate and now become a very feeble coordinator. Our leaders registered their disapproval to the proposed bill, citing Sections 18, 20, 23, 30, 31, 32, and 36 <coughs> as having the tendency of destabilizing the teaching profession. In that, it will break and dismember the unified service now in place. They also argue the bill by its nature seeks to break the teacher's front by its decentralization agenda. The teacher unions want the teacher interest first availability of resource and quality education to be the foremost in the decentralization agenda. Our education director, the district education director, is now going to work directly under the, uh, the municipal chief executive. And education at the municipal level or the district level is just going to be a unit of the assembly. And you know kind of how politics are played. How can the, the, the education officer, the, the uh, district director, be given the freedom to take decisions that will improve education at the district? You know, the particular influence is there. And when you look at the sections, section 36, it means the assemblies are going to issues of discipline, employment, and all those things will be done by the assemblies. And you know, Ghana here, all the assemblies are not resourced. Most of the districts are poorly resourced, others were resourced. And when that happens, you know it is going to bring a, a disparity in our education. Maxwell Kudaka report for joining us. While well, you're watching the Joy News Desk, stay with us. We'll bring you some business. Emmanuel Abwajiri, we are face standing by with details in business.